Subconscious trains of thought vie for attention. The dual inquires compete for first place in the mind's eye consciousness to produce future, for this is the main task of thought. The brain, with its 100 billion nerve cells, does all of our decision analysis, only making its results known at the last to the brain's highest level consciousness. People act robot-like when they know not the why of what they do for decisions are made blind by brain networks just before they're presented to us in consciousness. Consciousness comes 300 milliseconds after the brain does its analysis and thus has but last second veto power, if allowed, over what the brain comes up with. Decisions are not made by consciousness. Although this fine picture in the mind's eye, merely the brain's perception of itself can be fed back for further analysis. Not much of what the brain does reaches consciousness. And even when it does, the mind's last to know. It's like a tourist for decisions precede their awareness. Humans are like machines, going the way of their brains, genetics, and chemicals. But you, learning these secrets, rise above, and at least know that you are a machine. We're all robots, but no one notices, since there are so many different kinds, which, though it makes life quite interesting, obscures the fact that the will is unfree.
first level people have beliefs and desires, but second level people have beliefs and desires about their beliefs and desires, becoming able spectators of themselves. Although our decisions of the instant are fully determined and are therefore not free, we may happen to learn new things and make choices tomorrow that we wouldn't make today. Everyone's wired differently, having their own private but valid perceptions due to genes, learning and mental health. So each person is right to do what essay he does. Yes, robots we are, so therefore major changes like intro to extroversion, probably even hardwired, get harder as one grows older, perhaps impossible. Since personality is mostly genes and the rest is hardwired learned behavior, we can't expect to change others big time, so don't bother. We can still avoid them. More and more the myths of past ignorances give way to the solutions of science, for example. A person's life force and basic traits are her genetic blueprint. 